Welcome back, folks. Here we are once again, standing before the Pillar of Ice and Flame. And it's time to go on our next journey. Access mission list. And we are going to meet with Julius the Kind-Hearted Troll. Here we go. Listen up. You heard of Igneous, Black Rose of Thorns? Big, ugly dudes. No one knows where they come from. One thing I know. Trolls who found whole cave full of rock dudes yesterday. Probably you should clear out cave. Good guys got enough to deal with. Trolls, outcasts, don't need Igneous mucking around in here too. Clear out Igneous in the cave. So I did raise the level up by uh, by plus one. So the enemy should at least be plus one to me now. Plus one level that is, of course. So hopefully that will think. <laughs> hopefully that will make things a bit more interesting. A little more danger, at least. For now, I do want to keep it on just having the number of enemies for one player. Turning it up beyond that right now, I think I would I would probably get slaughtered. As time goes on, the difficulty will rise. Probably shift around, add more enemies, turn up and down the difficulty level. But, uh, you know, for now, still sticking with Black Rose. All that good stuff. And in this mission, our objective is to f defeat all the creatures in the cave. So, no running around looking for objectives. Just gotta beat down anybody and everybody in sight. Defeat all missions tend to get kind of tedious, but, uh, you know, when you're not doing them too often. Whoa, slow down. The walls of this cavern bear many long, deep scratches. Alright, Elder Pumicite. So when you put it on plus one, you will face primarily enemies that are, you know, plus one level to you. Uh, but you can also face creatures that are plus two. So I'll probably run in, right now I'm fighting level 15s. Probably fight some level 16s further in here. Alright. Yeah, these guys can get me in danger, particularly when I'm fighting level 16, so I think this is going to be a good difficulty for now. Like, not every encounter is going to be a dangerous one, you know, I don't want that anyway, because then it would take too long to progress. But, you know, there could be, uh, some danger in here. That's enough. So, it looks like whenever I'm using Handbrake, to uh, to compress my videos, that is actually causing a bunch of weird grain at the beginning of the videos. So I don't know. I, I messed around with that a good bit last night, but uh, the one video I didn't compress with Handbrake that I just put through Sony Vegas straight into here that came out fine. I mean, the, the quality was you know really. No better, little better, if at all. Even though the size was considerably greater, you know, it might have been slightly better, but it was almost double the size. Uh, but at the very least, it was, it, or it didn't have the uh, the weird grain effect going on. It's been in all of my other videos. I think that was in. I didn't have the problem in part one of the uh, the last story arc. So yeah, that Elder Pumicide actually put me in some danger there. This is going to be perfect. He's a little, you know, use some inspirations. They're just gonna be kind of sitting there. So I haven't really talked about inspirations. I, I sort of referenced them, but didn't really explain them for anyone who, you know, might not actually know what they are. These things right here, uh, this tray, they give give you different buffs uh, for a brief period up here. You can see that symbol. Uh, that's, for example, increasing my attack power for a given period. You'll see these disappear after a while, and you know when they disappear, that means hey, that buff is uh, has expired. Oh, he ran off. Ah. But yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of I'm kind of hurting. It's gonna be good. Over here, you can actually also see uh, the values of my various resistances, how much HP I have. Uh, probably not incredibly clear, you know, by the time all this runs through, uh, you know, Fraps capturing it and then me editing it all together with Sony Vegas. I don't think I'm actually going to, uh, to compress the next couple of videos with Handbrake 
uh, just so I don't have that weird ten, first 10 second grain thing going. That's pretty irritating. And I know it's irritating for people that actually would bother to watch this. I posted a uh, little disclaimer. Hey, after 10 seconds, this weird effect goes away on the first video, but I haven't done it on the others yet, where it appears. I need to do that. Just so people aren't like, oh, well, wow, this dude didn't even actually really record. I mean, there's audio of him talking about it, but you can't even tell what's happening. Forward ho. Onward. Alright, so I think this is the last room. Uh oh, we got a boss in there, I think. Uh, the minions of Igneous are actually pretty notoriously strong. So, uh, <laughs> that boss actually could give me a little trouble. I'm actually going to use uh, my purple inspirations, which increases my defense before I hop in there with him. Because uh, otherwise, I think I might actually be in a little bit of trouble against him. I might be able to take him down before he could do that, but since build-up isn't up, I don't really want to chance that. If I had build-up, I could probably have taken down half his HP just with those first three attacks, but... Okay. Yeah, this isn't bad. Probably would have been a lot worse had I not used that, uh, that purple inspiration. I gotta say, I'm actually really liking the, uh, the little sepia tone thing they added for when you enter a mission, it's a flashback, and when you exit. Like, at first I was like, why this bug? But now that I know what it's about and it's not a bug, I actually really like it. Sort of like, wow, remember that time when you ran into that, that cave with the minions of Igneous and you took them all down? Yeah! Great times. It's funny because uh, before I got this graphics card, I was running on a, uh, a graphics card that was uh, you know integrated on the motherboard. Just came with it because this was a, uh, a PCI bought from Best Buy. And uh, of course, the game ran like crap, basically. So I'm, I'm still not even used to just having simple shadows on things. To me, I'm just like, wow, it still looks so much better. Anyway, hey, thanks, Hero. You're a real tough customer, yeah? These igneous guys think will think twice before they mess with you. I'm a true friend. Meaning, when they say you're a true friend and, hey, you can buy enhancements from me, that basically means, hey, you can now call me. Meaning I don't have to run back to you every time I need a mission. Anyway. Trolls do bad things for the Hollows. Bad, 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 bad things. Trolls dam up the Red River to flood some spaces. Me? I want to see nature restored. Do something for me, hero. Stop trolls damming Red River. I have to defeat ten trolls, damning the riverbed. You look near dam, you find trolls. That where they likely be. Alright, so where is the dam? Actually, I'm right next to the dam, I think. Yeah, Red River. Bam. That, that makes sense. Uh, but that's not trolls. There's trolls. Be hungry. You dead meat. Ah. Troll is stupid. close that window. This mission actually used to be really hard, I remember. Uh, they, they revamped the hollows since then, so like enemies are lower level and stuff, but it used to be like, ah oh man, there was like level 15 trolls over here, and they didn't used to have the flashback Ouroboros system, so like that was a really high level for you to have to hunt these guys, so like entire teams would come down here trying to, to hunt these trolls. And sometimes they would even wipe, because, I mean, the, the trolls were hard to find in general, but when you did, they were in enormous groups. But now, they're, you know, just level 9, which, even if you were getting this mission, you know, naturally going to the game, not flashing back to it, that wouldn't be bad. Alright, so we defeated ten, uh, 10 trolls. I so happy now. Red River should flow and flow. Very beautiful. Yes, Black Rose of Thorns. Ooh, ooga booga. Black Rose of Thorns, you heard about the trolls' baddest deed? Slaves. Human slaves. Kept in troll base. They forced to work for us. 
it a bad, bad thing, and I want it to stop. Will you help me, hero? Will you save the troll slaves? Let's rescue some slaves from the trolls. I thanks you, Black Rose of Thorns. You a good Joe. And you are the target, Julius. So, <laughs> I think I could get more information on Julius about this contact. So, Julius is the smallest and most disgruntled troll in Paragon City, referred to as Runt. By many of his follow fellow gang members, Julius has had to find a purpose for himself that's not tied up in the drug culture of the trolls. He's found that purpose in the reclamation of the hollows. Julius wants to see the area restored to its natural state, and he's willing to sell it his comrades to make it happen. Heroes have occasionally reco reported seeing a faint glimmer of intelligence buried within Julius' superendine super uh, adult mind. If a cure for the trolls' mutations could be found, it's possible that Julius would have a, uh, a lot of potential to live up to. Unfortunately, as he is, he's just slightly above a raving lunatic. Well, with good intentions. I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't be so harsh on the guy. I can't properly speak English either, Julius. I feel your pain. I make a habit of stumbling over my words. Do 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 do. All right. A set of iron chains lies discarded in the corner. All right, so we have five slaves to rescue, and that is our objective. So, since we don't have to kill these guys, let's once again skip uh, skip some guys, because that worked out so well for me last time. And as I said, I uh, will be skipping objectives again. Or at least skipping enemies to get to objectives. But, uh, given my track record, I'll probably be skipping objectives as well. Running right past them, you know, that kind of thing. That doesn't look like a slave, but let's get it anyway, because it's gloving. Ah, oh, they've seen me. Clue found. Alright, let's kill these guys and read it to Clue while we do it. This tattered page reads, Last night, I dreamed of a sea of maglites chanting the word Quago. I don't understand how I know this, but I'm certain this word means leader. So, in the first one, was it? what was it? World? The, the word we found out in, uh, during that one Outcast story arc. I don't remember. That was yesterday. I can't be expected to remember what happened yesterday. Come on. It's been, like, hours. Oh, God. Oh, okay, I thought that was a boss for a second. Okay, I can take down a lieutenant and two minions. Uh, build up, please. Alright, we'll slow down. But yeah, I, I definitely want to keep with, uh... Keep with the, uh, full color palette of City of Heroes, unlike my first two videos, because it just looks richer. I mean, even if, you know, it's gonna be grainier and stuff, you know, by the time it reaches YouTube, of course, but... At least I want the full spectrum of colors in City of Heroes. Oh wait, this is where I just went, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Other direction. We still have four slaves to find, so we got a ways to go. We also got two paths to go down. Probably with numerous branches of their own. Who's behind door number one? Nothing. Great. Door number two. Whoa! Hello. That actually just restores endurance, but Let's clear up some space to get some new inspirations. Endurance is not an issue for me. This character uh, had incredible endurance issues, and any anyone who's dealt with a uh, dark scrapper probably is familiar with uh, endurance issues. But yeah, we'll continue that later. Uh, that was my timer, so we will uh, continue this in the next video. Thanks for watching.